Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marisa and today I'm going to be doing a February setup in my bullet journal. So I know that this video is coming out very late. I know that we're already halfway through February, but my life has been really messed up and pretty awful. <laughs> um, I shouldn't really go too much into it, but if you watch my previous video, you'll know that my dad was in the hospital with COVID and on February 8th, he passed away. And so it's just been really rough for me and my family. Um, I actually filmed this setup in January, um, like, like the end of January, but we didn't find out that he was going to die until later on. And then I never got around to editing this video and posting it, but because he's gone and I have nothing else to do but sit around and be upset, I thought, why not just edit this video anyway and upload it? I know it's late in the month, but this theme that I did isn't specific to February at all. It's not a Valentine's Day theme, so if any of you like it, you can use it for any other themes of the year. It doesn't really matter. So, yeah. So I decided to do a Greek statue theme. I don't know why, I know that's quite random, but I just thought it'd be something really unique to do and I haven't seen it done before, so I thought why not? And I thought statues were a little too grey, so I decided to include some flowers as well. They are specifically Greek flowers, because I decided to do a Greek statue and flower theme, so that's what I ended up doing. And here you can see I just, I'm starting to outline everything and then I erase the pencil line and now I'm going in with the Tombow dual brush markers to color and do some shading on the flowers. For this month, I decided for my quote to be focus on what you can control and I chose this quote before I knew that my dad was going to pass away. I, I didn't know at the time, I just thought it was a really nice quote, but I have to say it's really been fitting my February well because my dad passing away is not something I have control over, I can't bring him back, I can't work around it, it's completely out of my control. But something I can focus on, which is in my control, is um, finishing up my degree and things like that. So that's what I've been trying to keep my mind on and focus on during this time. So this statue head that I'm drawing um, it's a piece of a statue that's at the Met Museum, and its title is Fragmentary Colossal Head of a Youth. It's not anything specific, I just really liked the way it looks, so I thought, why not just use this as the title page? And again, I just decorated it with some Greek flowers because I really liked the colors. Um, the flowers are meant to be white, and they have some pink accents on them and green stems. And they're very messily drawn, they're not accurate at all, but I just thought they looked really, I don't know, like calming to look at, you know, roses can be very bright and, you know, just way too much, and I don't know, I thought these flowers were so unique, so that's why I decided to use them here.
then on to the next spread. So I wanted to do a monthly calendar just on one side and a mood tracker on the other side. For this monthly calendar, my biggest challenge was trying to find a Greek statue that was more horizontal that I could put at the bottom. I feel like a lot of statues are quite vertical in their appearance, but that was not going to work with having a month grid like on the page. There is a really famous Greek statue that I found. It's like um, there's a man in the middle and there's two other men on the side and it's like a really big dramatic piece and it's gorgeous but I wanted to draw something that was more relaxing to look at and then I found this statue which is the river god Arno and I just thought he looked so chill just laying on his side with this vase in his hand and I just thought it'd be more interesting to draw than something else because I just had no idea what to put at the bottom so as you can see it's not accurate at all if you go and look up what the actual statue looks like some of the proportions are a bit off his face is very wonky in my drawing but I didn't intend this to be like a work of art in my bullet journal it's just meant to be like a theme just like a sketch of how I interpreted this statue and so that's what this is and again I'm just outlining it I know that for a calendar page a lot of people like to do the calendar over a two page spread and that's really great if you have a lot to write down but for me I just need something small I normally don't have things I need to write in there every single day but if there's something I want to write it'll just be like a quick note or something if you know I don't have the other weeklies set up yet then I can just quickly jot it down here and I also really like that it's next to the mood tracker because if there's like something significant that happens then I can write it down on the monthly spread and then on the mood tracker I can see how my mood reflected what happened in that month however I'm filming this February, well, I'm, I mean, I already filmed it, but I'm recording this voiceover February 15th, and I can tell you that on my mood tracker, every um, rock at the bottom was shaded in my color that represents the sad feeling, because obviously this is when I found out that my dad was going to die, and then I filled it in every day as being sad, and that's still what I'm doing so the mood tracker for this month just ends up being kind of useless because that's my mood is just the same all the time now but you know I thought it, I, at the time when I filmed this I didn't know my dad was going to die and I included it anyway and I'm probably still going to include it for the next month because it's also just a fun way to draw and release stress and do something really fun and pretty on a page. Um, so yeah, right now I'm just erasing all of the pencil work and then I'm going to go in and color everything. You'll see here that I tried using some washi tape and I ended up adding some and moving it around quite a few times so don't worry about it it's it's just kind of a mess I'm still quite new to washi tape so now on to the mood tracker 
I was not sure how to incorporate Greek art into this mood tracker because I thought I, I can't really color code a statue and color it all in based on my mood of different days. I just thought that's not going to make sense, it's going to look like a really patchy statue. And I wanted something that just stood out a bit more. So I decided to draw the Parthenon. I thought since it's a broken building anyway, and if you look at photos there are broken pieces of rubble all over the floor, so I thought I would shade the Parthenon with one shade of grey and then the rocks at the bottom would be different shades of grey which would rep represent four different moods. I put really happy, content, meh and then sad as my four moods. I know some people do a lot of moods, they also do angry or anxious or things like that. I'm basic, I just wanted to do four standard moods, I find that a lot easier to keep track of. And yeah, I just thought having 28 different rocks at the bottom for February and just colouring them in with the different shades of grey would look cool. However, it's the 15th of February and like I said, they're all at the moment just coloured in in a dark grey because that's my mood, that's what's going on in my life. So this ended up not being used in a really artistic way and all the rocks are just all one colour at the bottom and they probably will be for the rest of the month unless something really good happens later on but for now I'm mourning and that's what this looks like but you know I'm, I'm still happy with the page I'm still really happy with how it turned out maybe I can do something like this again in a future bullet journal but for this February of 2021, it was a cool idea, but it's just not being used very well at the moment. So as you can see here, I tried with the washi tape again, but I ended up really not liking the grid washi tape against this like Greek theme background. I just thought it didn't really work well, so you'll see, I'll remove it and get rid of it completely. <laughs> to the first weekly spread of the February month and I only uh, filmed this one spread for this video. The other ones that I've ended up doing so far do look really cool so I could post another video doing a flip through of my February but I'm not sure. I might just do a flip through at the end of the year with all the months because that would be easier. But for my first weekly spread, I decided to draw the Venus de Milo. It's such a beautiful statue and it's so famous and well known. I've known about this statue since I was a kid. I remember my parents got a replica one, like a little mini one, and it was really cute. So I thought, why not include it here? She's so famous. And I thought it went well at the side because it's a narrow statue as well. And yeah. 
I did a very weird arrangement with the boxes this month and I decided not to do this again. I decided to do like four boxes kind of in the corner and then three in the top corner and then a next week box at the bottom and it didn't leave much room for drawing, you know, my Venus de Milo did have to be very narrow at the side. And then on the other side I just did massive blown out versions of those Greek flowers. Overall I still really liked how it looked, but my other weeks that are not included in this video definitely had a much better aesthetic to them. Also, I know that I wrote Saturday twice. You would think that since I did this in pencil first that I would catch that mistake, but I obviously didn't. I don't know. I mean, my, I know my dad wasn't dead yet, but he was in the hospital and we were still very stressed and I just completely had no idea I had written Saturday twice. I actually didn't notice it until it came to that Sunday and I was writing down something and I noticed that it said Saturday, so just ignore it. I was going to fix it, but I thought it looked messy, so I just left it as Saturday, Saturday, because it's just my journal for me. I know what day I meant, so I thought it doesn't matter. Also, I just wanted to say sorry if this video came off very depressing and sad. It's just kind of hard to hide what you're really facing and what's actually going on in your life. I'm not trying to make this sad, but Obviously you can understand what's constantly on my mind at the moment. My dad is gone and I'm just trying to do anything to keep myself distracted, to keep myself going, because I know that's what he would have wanted me to do. So I'm trying my best. That's why I decided to um, still edit and upload this video. So that's just what it is. Again, sorry. Um, hopefully my March month or Maybe not March, maybe the month after that, because March is actually my dad's birthday. And that's going to be really upsetting. But hopefully by April, I'll be in a little bit of a better perkier mood to be able to do these videos. But I still didn't want to give up on them, and that's why I'm still uploading this video now. Let's get into the final flip through. So for the February title page, I did the fragmentary colossal head of a youth. If you Google it, that's what will come up. And then I did the cute quote. And then for the February month calendar page, I did the river god Arno. And for my mood tracker, I did the Parthenon. And then for my first weekly spread, I did the Venus de Milo. I thought it was the perfect statue to start this off. And yeah, so I hope you liked this February setup. I know it's not a lot and I know it's late in the month, but that's just how it has to be at the moment. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.